friends, how are you doing? Welcome, welcome back. Yeah. I wanted to share my cozy night with you guys. It's Friday night. I have tomorrow's video all uploaded. It's my clean with vi clean with me video. Uh, it's all uploaded and ready to go, which means the rest of my night is for chilling, which is chef's kiss. It's great. So tonight I've got the lights going on up there. Hold on. I've got the lights going on up there. I've got the plants, the view of all of our plants. I just cleaned that out tonight, or this today. We've had quite a few really warm days and our plants were not liking it very much. So I had to kind of clean out all the dead leaves and dead plants and stuff out of those. And yeah, I was thinking I might want to work out there a little bit next week. So I probably well, and I'll show you guys tomorrow some updates on our garden and yeah, cause we've got some fun surprises going on out there. I don't know, it's crazy. But anyways, it's Friday night. I'm done with my work. I'm done with my YouTube work. So here I am chilling in the room in bed. Cameron's upstairs playing video games. I need my alone time. He needs his alone time and that is perfectly fine with us. If he's upstairs playing video games, I will like take a really long shower. I will do some skincare. I will put my fuzzy robe on. I'll come in the room, put on our cozy lights, light some candles, which I need to do that. We've got our lavender candles going over there and I'll read a book or watch some YouTube. We have our TV there, so I'll watch like Netflix or something, but just kind of hang out in bed and just decompress and yeah it's great i also wanted to share the book i'm reading i feel like i should share that more often i don't know i just finished the selection series well books one through three of the selection series sherry and auburn suggested that for me or recommended that to me oh they were good if if you are into i don't even as I think they're young adult books. I don't even know like what to categorize it as. It's so good. It's kind of like, it's kind of like Hunger Games meets The Bachelor is what I told Cameron. It's so good. You need to read it immediately. But I read the first three books. The fourth and fifth books are set 20 years later. So I decided I would give that a little break because I went through those three books within like two months. And for me, just reading one book in two months is a feat. But now I'm reading The Night Circus by Aaron Morgans Morgenstern. I'm about 150 pages in. It's pretty good. I, s I need to go get a little bit further in, I think. I can't remember where I heard it, but someone said to give a book, like if you're not sure about a book when you first start it, try to give it 150 pages because usually that's when things start getting good, I guess. I don't know, but so I'm about 150 pages and I'm going to keep going. I know that it's going to get juicy. I feel like it's going to get really good. So if you've read this, let me know what you thought. Also look at my bookmark. It's the best. It's so cute. I love it so much. This weekend, we are, of course, we're still home, but we are actually going to go through our closets and our dresser. We have this dresser here, and then we have a dresser upstairs. The dresser upstairs is more like sentimental clothing. That's where all like my sorority shirts are. Any sorority sisters or anybody in AZD, if you want shirts, hit me up. I think I might be getting rid of some. And slash or, if you know of anybody that would make me t-shirt quilt let me know because that's kind of why I'm saving them I've also been out of sorority for six years so yeah there's that too but we're gonna clean this out we're gonna clean out our closets and we're gonna clean out upstairs too it's probably what you're gonna see and I think I'm just gonna keep vlogging throughout the weekend and you can hang out with us and yeah I hope you are having a great Saturday morning I'm gonna go back to chilling I'm gonna go back to my book now see you tomorrow morning Hello. hi friends good morning it's actually like noon. Yes, I live in this robe on the weekends. It's comfy. Good morning. Good afternoon. Actually, it's like, it's noon. I've been up since like seven, just straight chilling, which is great because like I said last night, we're gonna be like cleaning out our dresser and stuff. So it was good to get a few hours of chilling because I think the rest of the day, the rest of the weekend is gonna be crazy. I'm Cameron's in the shower now and I was just gonna go water the plants. So let me take you out there and show you what we've got going on. We have this super cute succulent and like I've mentioned before, I am not one to keep plants alive, even succulents, but this guy's doing pretty good. These are all actually doing pretty good. 
Right above him we have this guy up here, which is actually doing pretty good and I am gonna water him. So that's that. And then we have this plant here. I don't even know, I guess it's like a fern kind of thing going on. It's doing pretty good. There were some really weird leaves that were coming from down here. And then we realized above here, in that bird feeder, there was only sunflower seeds. So they were falling in here. And now we have one, two, three. Oh, there's another one. Another teeny tiny one. Four. And then we've got this guy. Five. Five sunflowers coming from this. I think there might be more down in there. Then we have this vine thing, which is super dry. I gotta water this one a lot. It has locked itself to the bars here. I don't know if you can see that. It's like connected to the bar. Then we've got our tomato plant. What? Um, which I've shown you guys, I know I've shown you guys a couple times, and we do move this throughout the day. First of all, my stepmom, who gave, gave us this, she has the same, like, plant, and it's, I think it's already growing tomatoes, and it's huge. We do get direct sunlight out here, but it's only for a few hours, so we have to move it from here, and then eventually we'll move it over here when this, like, sun gets over there. So, that is our tomato plant. We are getting some some flowers from it. Hopefully we get some tomatoes, make some salsa or something, I don't know. And then we've got this guy, which I actually just cleaned out like half of it was just dead. But look, we've got one, two, three more sunflowers in here. And then I think this is corn, maybe? I don't know. The bird seed that we had did have like little pieces of corn and I looked up what this was and I think it might be corn. Obviously it's not gonna get like corn size but yeah we've got a whole bunch of sunflowers coming in which is crazy we've got cameron's stolen succulents mm -hmm. stolen stolen the lighting's not great stolen 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 on our walks i water these two but we have basil which we pick and we use all the time and it's just thriving out here and then we have mint which we also pick and use all the time and it's thriving out here too we make a lot of mojitos mostly from this. This we just use all the time. But this is super fragrant. It smells so good. I gotta get more water and water these. But that is our garden update. Hello, a little change of plans. I am in the car and I'm all by myself. But I am going grocery shopping for the first time in since March. Yeah, Cameron's been doing the grocery shopping. We're gonna give it a shot today. If it's too full, then I'll just come back home. The reason I'm going is because I'm going to Trader Joe's. I've been doing a little bit of research on that. We normally go to Ralph's. And Trader Joe's, I just feel like my money will go further there because everything's a little bit cheaper. It's a little bit healthier, it can be. And a little bit easier meals. Uh, they have a really good freezer section, as you know. Give Trader Joe's a shot. I probably won't vlog in Trader Joe's just because I kind of I, I want to get in and out but also the reason I don't really shop at Trader Joe's is even though I love the food the way it's organized just I can't I can't handle it but I'm gonna see if it's worth doing like a full grocery haul or gro grocery shopping there uh, when I go it's normally for like a couple things or for snacks because um, we do love their snacks there but I'm gonna try to do a full grocery shop there and see how it goes but i'll show you what we get okay it's hot in here i'm gonna go now hi hello i'm here i wanted to set you down so that i could like clean off so you're just sitting behind my steering wheel i don't know where else to put you anyways um that was a successful trip uh, despite spending more than what i wanted to but i got a lot of meals and there was a line it took me about five minutes or so to get in so the line moved but you couldn't bring in your own bags and it was empty like there was no one in there that was like the nicest trader joe's experience they should always do it like this even after the pandemic like they should just always do it like this um uh, because it was empty inside so i was able to like roam around a little bit more than i normally do because like i said it um i don't like the way it's organized which is why i don't shop there just getting this and so I was able to find the things I needed. Normally I end up panic shopping there 
because um ooh, sorry because i can never find anything so i just like i don't know but anyways so i just kind of get whatever yeah that's that i need to wipe down my phone <laughs> i'll show you what i got i got some fun things and yeah i'm gonna go home now it is hot it is 84 degrees i'm turning this back on we're back from Trader Joe's. I'm back from Trader Joe's. This is what I got. Cheese sticks. Cheese sticks. Parmesan crisps. Bagels. Some more bread. Sourdough bread. These little um, things that Allison and I used to eat all the time. They're super good. They're like soy sauce flavored. Oatmeal. Well, I got this for you. You gotta pay a dark Montgomery cherries. Yeah, this is the whole reason we went because we were out. I don't know what we're gonna use this for, but it's multi-purpose umami seasoning blend. Chips, sliced mushrooms. Look how many mushrooms, that's like two meals. Mm. Mushrooms, eggs. I got a couple salads. I just got a broccoli kale slaw. I only read the title. Yellow curry chopped salad. I thought that was different. I don't know. We'll see how that goes. Carrots for the dips. I haven't even gotten to the dips yet. Bananas for our weekly, um, what do you call it? Sacrifice? An altar of banana sacrifice. Yep. Hey, last time I used them all. No, you would think they will become bread, but they will not become they bread. They did become bread. Avocados. I just got a bunch of potatoes for some reason. I don't know. And then this looked good. For some reason, I've been craving like lentil soup. I don't know why. You don't have to eat it. But I got a couple lentil soups, soup dumplings. I got a pork, pork and ginger, and a chicken soup. Some orange chicken, because I hear that their orange chicken's bomb. Chicken fried rice. That can maybe go with that orange chicken. Okay, you ready for the meats? Meats. Santa Maria tri-tip roast. I just got a pound of ground meat. I got some steaks, top sirloin steak, two of them, and chicken. And they do have the individually wrapped, so we can freeze it. Last bag, I got chivri goat cheese, even though we have some, but Cameron always requests it when I go to Trader Joe's. Goat so. cheese. Mm. Broccoli, pesto. Here's Cameron's lox. He requested lox and bagels. We have cream cheese. Okay, I thought these are kind of fun. Um, they have like full-on acai bowls. Oh. Huh. I mean, they were like four bucks each, so it's a little more than what I would want to spend on them, but I thought I'd give them a shot. The cilantro and jalapeno hummus. I got buffalo style chicken dip. Yeah, buffalo style chicken dip. Not sure what to do with it. No idea. That's why I got carrots. So <laughs> I got these Parmesan things. I got chips and I got these these things because I got a couple dips and I don't know what to do with them. So. Got a couple dips and I don't know what to do with them. Mochi because duh it's mochi and I love it. Sweet potato and gnocchi they don't have just like regular gnocchi. And beef and broccoli. That's a lot of meals huh? Yeah. I think I did a pretty good job thank you very much. You're welcome. So that's it we're gonna have pre-lunch and then we'll probably have an early, like an early dinner. Okay bye. Hello friends, welcome to Sunday morning. It's actually not the morning anymore. It's like 12.30-ish. I've just been hanging out. Cameron's um, not feeling great. It's just like a little head cold, but he sneezed like 30 times last night. So um, he took some NyQuil pretty late. So he's actually still asleep, I think. I don't know. I'm outside on our balcony. I'm still reading. I'm now page 235 of the night circus um so far i'm actually um am really enjoying it it is a longer book so i like that i can like read a chapter and stop there if i want to it doesn't like super like suck me in but if i want to read more obviously i do but it's like how each chapter is almost episodic it jumps back and forth in time and um all kinds of lots of different storylines going on so um it's kind of easy to stop and take a break and you kind of need to stop and take a break again because there's so many different timelines and different times and all kinds of stuff so um it is a really good book i'm just hanging out here in the sun with the dog also while i'm reading i'm um, listening to our good friend cullen vance's new album i've just listened to the first few songs so far and it's so good all of his music is super good um very piano-y and 
amazing and I will put the link for it in the description below. It's hot out here for huskies, bud. Yeah, maybe you should go inside. But it's not what you're made for and there's nothing that is too late for. It is actually Monday. Yeah, yesterday after Cameron got up, we had the little soup dumplings from Trader Joe's that I got. They were delicious, they were so good. And then for dinner, we had my Zupa Toscana last night for dinner. I didn't vlog any of that because we just had a straight up lazy Sunday and it was great. I don't regret any bit of it except for the fact that we didn't actually clean out our dresser. Here we are Monday evening, we have had dinner, which was delicious. We had the steaks that I got from Trader Joe's and one of the salads that I got from Trader Joe's. So I actually filmed a little bit of that. So I'm going to put that right here. ready to clean out my side of the dresser which is only three drawers so I only have to go through through three drawers and I'm gonna do that now and not because any of you like need to see it or I don't even know if any of you like actually want to see that but I'm doing it for my own accountability because if I was not filming a vlog I would have already been showered in my PJs and reading by now but here we are yeah maybe we can add to our Goodwill bag and finally take it to I don't know about Goodwill but someplace that will take our clothes then that'll be the end of this very long weekend vlog I hope you guys have stuck through it till now <laughs> Alrighty friends, that's going to be it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed. I've got my pile of clothes here for giveaway. Um, it's not too many. I recently went through my drawers, so um, there's not too, too many clothes here to give away, but it's enough for my drawers to be all clean and organized. Do you see that? So clean. Clean. So that's going to be it. Thanks for watching. Thanks for keeping me accountable on uh, doing my drawers here. I appreciate it. Even though you don't even know you did it yet, it's totally fine. Um, but yeah. 
thanks for watching. If you liked what you saw, cool. I'm glad you did. But make sure to like and subscribe and hang out with me next week. I don't know what we're doing next weekend. It'll be a surprise. Yeah. I never know how to say goodbye in these videos. So I'm just going to say goodbye. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys next week. Bye. Can you hear that?